What is this clip? It's not raging. Come on, you guys. This is, this is raging. Oh. 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 Takes with a knight as expected. Okay. I do have like my bishop is just so bad here. It's unbelievably bad. Uh, I've got him. Uh, actually, I don't have to... possible to play this. Um. Let's go. I guess. Okay, um, yeah, so we're playing three games. We're playing games at the same time. Let's go knight f3. Okay, and maybe I should have used my time then. I didn't know if I could actually multitask. Okay, let's go here, here. I think this must be the right move. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's play here and here. Go here. Let's go back. I guess I'll pre-move this. It's a safe pre-move. Um, let's castle. Let's take... If I had known that I could actually play multiple games at the same time, I would have actually not played so fast in this game. But I wasn't sure, so... Lesson learned, I guess, that it, that it is possible. Let's go back. Plays f4, which I saw, but I thought I could go, like... Where do I put the bishop now? I've got to move my bishop somewhere, I think. We'll put my bishop on e6, but I gave him queen f6. That was stupid, of course. Okay, let's go here in e5 next move. Yeah, I just gave him queen f6. That was very stupid. Maybe I can get the bishop back around or something. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go back to the game. Queen h4. I think knight e5 looks like a good move. Let's go here. Queen a5. Okay. I think I should go to b1, maybe. Let's go here. I want to threaten a check. Some kind of checkmate. Okay. Did he move? He did not move. Okay. Let's take the pawn. I've got a great position in that. What's time is... Time is even. Um... Let's take. I'll pre-move. Go here. Rook c4. Hit the queen. Rook d1. Should be very pleasant for me. Let's see. Um. Go here. Hit the queen. I can play rook c1. Queen d4. Looks very pleasant. Go here. Guard the pawn. Hit the pawn. Go back. Timur has not moved. I have rook c1, maybe? To hit the pawn. This looks very good for me, actually. I don't know what he's doing. I can take on a7. I can also play, like, h4, g4. Probably a little bit too bold. Queen a7, queen d5, rook d4. I think I'm going to go for it anyway. Go for it. Plays queen a7 to hit the pawn. Now, I do have bishop c4 here. And bishop e2. I kind of wonder about it. Is it so bad? Oh, but then he has 94. Um, go back. Go here. Hit the queen. Think about this. Okay, queen d4 is definitely a threat here. But I can still go queen d5, maybe. Now let's go here. Go back. If queen b5, I just take, 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 and I'm winning. His knight is actually very misplaced on, on f2 here. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think I just take. That's a that's a free pawn. Okay, should be winning. Let's go back. Okay, if f3, I just take the pawn. If I get bishop f5, I mean it starts to get really tricky for black. His knight is maybe very good, but also maybe very bad. If I get queen d6, I've I've got rook b8 ideas too. If I can create luft, probably I'm fine. Tough spot to be in, actually, because, like, Timur wants to win, but it's not so simple. Probably he is winning somehow. I'm up a minute on this game, too. Where do you go? Went queen c7. Okay, wait. That, I think, is a mistake. Maybe not a big mistake, but I think it's a mistake somehow. I always just go h3, I guess. Queen c5, queen d8, bishop. Okay, let's 
go back. Take, let's make it. Check, okay, let's go back. Pushback 5 looks like a logical move. Queen d7 doesn't. Pushback 5 f3, I just take. Queen f4, queen f5. Uh, queen e. No, okay, let's go. Pushback 5 g6, I don't know. Okay, he plays queen e5. Um. Don't want to think too long in this game. I also don't want to throw this game. Let's go here. Okay, let's go back. This move, okay, what am I going to play? I've got 1040 on the clock. H3, queen c2, bishop f5. May or may not. Oh, h2, queen c2, queen f5, maybe? That's a very creative play. H3 allows f3, though. A, uh, he's got h3, f3, so I can't do that. Uh, okay, let's try to win this game here. Let's go here, I guess. I do have queen c4, maybe. Not what I want to play. Okay. G7. Just g3 is good. I can still take with the rook. Queen move rook d4. I've got with 10 01. I've got a lot of time here. Let me try to finish this game off first. I should be winning in this game. Let me try to win this game and then I'll go back to the other game. He goes there. I take, I go rook d5, and now I'm just winning. Okay, I take the pawn, should be winning. What do I have here? Queen c5 is a move. What do you play? Played h5. I just go h4, no worries. Okay, queen c5, queen d8, bishop f5. Looks pretty reasonable as a concept. Only I could get my rook to an open file, like the A file or something. Don't want to push the H pawn. I can't push the H pawn. Okay, I won the game. Okay, I, I win this game. Okay, let's get back. Okay. All right. Um, We win that game. Queen C4, Queen C5 is a question. Queen C5, Queen D8 doesn't look right. Queen C5, Queen D8. I don't have an out. I'm going to go with my initial instinct, which was bishop f5. This is my initial idea. I still think it's a good move. Still think it's a good move. His knight is kind of boxed here. No good square. So he goes g6. I can go like bishop d7 and queen e5. And I think I'm starting to actually create kind of a bit of a mess here. I don't know why I didn't do this instantly. This is my initial idea. And then I didn't just play it. Let's go g6. Wow. Okay. And now when I go, I mean, this looks scary somehow. I guess I'll just go, uh, bishop d7 allows rook d8. So I guess I have to go here. If f3, I just take the pawn. I also have queen e5, maybe. Problem is I gave him look for the king. So now, he, now his idea is like rook b8 or rook d8. But I still have queen g5. Still very tricky. So this king is now open too. Both kings are a little bit a little bit naked here. Still probably losing undoubtedly. But there are chances. See what he does. Got 247. Knight d3, I have bishop g4, I think. Or queen c4 as well. Plays rook d8 logical. I can go queen g5, then he has knight e4. I mean, I have queen e5 or queen c5. It's actually bad. Take c6, e2, c7. Oh, let's go here. I have c6, c7. That's my idea, at least. I don't think he can trade. Oh, wait. He's got e2 and rook. No, then I have rook d8. No, it's okay. Also, I could have done this right away. Why didn't Why didn't I play? Why didn't I just go here and meet? Ah, it's queen d8. That's why. Maybe I should have done queen c5 immediately. Hard to judge. Queen c5 and then bishop f5 was probably the right idea. It was queen d6 right. I can obviously trade and go d5 here. I'm trying to see if there's some... 
No, I don't have rook b8. He can just take. I thought I might have some trick. I don't have any tricks. So I'm probably just losing then. Um, I can maybe take and go like b5 and g3. No, let's just go for it. Let's go d5. Probably I'm losing still, but I, I have tricks maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasted a tempo for no reason here. I, 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 let, I let him get a king in for no reason. Very stupid by me. Extremely stupid, in fact. I don't even know why I did that. Go here. I think knight d3 was a mistake, though. He let my king in. He wasted a tempo. Now he's probably still better, but is he actually winning or not is the question. My instinct says he's probably not, but I have to prove it. Still have to prove it. Wait a second. I still have to prove that. Prove it. I think. Oh man! And now here comes the next game. Okay, let's go here. I think I'm actually drawing this with correct play, but finding the draw, I, it's gonna be brutally hard. I think rook before. G5. Ugh. Go here. H4. Okay, let's go here. So I think I'm okay. This pawn is too fast. He's gonna have to go g5, h4, and then we're gonna see what happens. Let's go here. I'm gonna be I'm probably gonna be spotting like a minute in, in, in this second game. Go here. Go here. I'm gonna go h6, and I think I I think I somehow try to split the pawns or something. But it's I mean, impossible to play this. Let's go here and here. I'll, I'll pre-move takes. It's a safe pre-move. Let's go. Oh, let's just castle and play bishop h3 next move. I'm going to go h6. I check, check. Check him around the board and something happens. Who knows what? Okay, let's go here. Maybe hit the knight. Plays h6 as expected. Now I can check, check. King f6, rook h8. And maybe I salvage it somehow. I also have g3. No, but that's g3 is losing. Okay, whatever. I have time. Let's play well, maybe here in E5 or something, whatever. I know I'm pr I know that I should be drawing this here, but proving it is going to be brutally hard. Um, okay, he goes there. Go E5. I feel like this is a draw somehow. I really do feel confident this is a draw. Maybe takes in Rook B5. Maybe G3. I mean, I feel very confident this is a draw, but King G7. Ah, uh, uh, I think I found it. I just there. I think I figured it out, but I ugh. go here. I'm playing this game badly too, though. I think this is a draw actually with King E2, King G7, King E3, King G6, B2, King H5, maybe Rook B1, King H5, King E2, G3, Rook F1. I think that's a draw. I've got all the time in the world though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to this game. Okay, I think I think I want to trade bishops here. Okay, let's think. I'm trying to remember. Is this a draw? Takes takes here 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 here. Takes rook f6, f5 takes here rook rook e5 rook e3 king g7 takes king f6 takes takes here is a draw. King g7 takes takes king g6 king f3 is a draw. Okay, let's take. Go here. Takes here. King g7 takes king g6. King g6, king e2. Takes, takes, g3, takes, takes, f5, takes, rook e5. e3. King g7. Wait. Takes. That's my move. Oh, I've got no time. Okay, I've got no time. I'm just going to have to focus on this game and press something in the other game. I'm going to have to speed up, like, really speed up now. Down a minute on the clock. This is terrible. I'm going to go 98 F5. Go fast. I've got six minutes. I, I need to focus on this game. Try to think about this end game. I mean... Takes rook f6, f5, takes king here, king g7, king e3, king g6, king e2, king h5, e1, king g4. I think that's losing. 
Yeah, I think that's losing by one tempo. Okay, it goes B3. He wants to take, of course, whatever. I'm just going to go here and take the knight. Got to focus on this one. I think that endgame is losing, so I'm not going to go for it. So I'm trying to think about it at the same time. Let's just go here. Actually, wait. No, let's go, I don't know, here or something. I want to go up F5. But the problem is takes. Yeah, I take with a knight, of course. Now I have F5. Knight C5, I have B6. So that's my whole idea. All right, maybe I go B5. I, I just need to be fast here. Um, let's just go, let's just go here. Cut off this knight C5 trick, and I'm gonna go F5 next move. Go here. Let's there. Okay, let's go here and bishop H6 maybe. I don't like bishop G1. I, I think it's a bad move. Not a terrible move, but not the best move. King f3, king g7. I'm trying I'm trying to think about ways that I can draw that. Why am I thinking so long? Let's go here and here. Go here and take. Knight a5, I go over. I'm thinking way too long. I've got 420, so I just have to finish this game. Got 50 seconds. I'm, I really need to be quicker. Okay, takes. Interesting. I think that's a bad move. Maybe not terrible, but now now I should not lose the game. Don't know if I can win anymore. It goes B4. He wants knight B3, I guess. Go here. Now I have H4 also. I have F4. I can also take with a queen. Meh. Knight B3. Wow, that's a... He's going completely in the wrong direction. He's going off towards the wrong side of the board. I take with the F or the H pawn. Also a tricky spot. I'm going to trust my instinct that I take with this pawn. And go like F4 or something. Let's go here. Knight G6. Play for the initiative and the attack. He's got no time either. I have rook F8. Pre move takes because it's a safe capture. Knight G6 maybe. Okay, let's go here of course. I'm starting to wrestle the initiative away from him in this game. I've got 312, so I've got time. Okay, let's go let's go here. I'm gonna go Queen G6 next move. He's got no time. Go here, Knight H4 is a big threat now. Okay, we're gonna win this game. Hopefully the next game doesn't start right away. I'm trying to think about this team more game a lot. Okay, um go check. There, if I go knight of four, I don't have a win. Go here. Okay, there we go. We got the dub. Let's go back to Team Wars game. I have check king f6. I mean, I mean, this is so hard to play. B5, rookie five. I mean, I suspect that this is a draw somehow. I just don't know how. He take on g5, but then he takes on e6. So I guess. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to go g3 and try to split it this way. Or maybe rook b5 and then g3. I mean, it's so hard to figure this out. I also have rook b6. Or do I even. Wait, maybe I go here. He takes and. Can I give a third pawn with rook b5 is the question. No, I think I just take. I, this has to be right. Takes. I think I go here. Pin the rook so I can play g3 next move. I think that's my idea. If I can split the pawns here with g3 somehow, I, I think I have chances to draw this. Okay, g3 is obviously a move. Bishop f3 is also a move. g3 takes king g2 maybe. Or do I just go king e? No, not king e2 right away. Um, g3 takes king g2. Check king takes. 94 king f3. That's the rookie one. So hard to play this. Um, can't move the king. Okay, let's just go for it. I, I don't know if this works. I, I've got no time. I'm 
I'm probably losing here somehow, but it's the, the last chance I really have. I can go Bishop F3. I mean, I think I... I can also check and go... Wait. Go there, I guess. Can I take... But I just wonder Rook D2 here. I just blundered Rook D2, and now I lose. Yeah, I just blundered Rook D2. Oh, he doesn't take advantage. Okay, so let's take. So let's go. Yeah, this just lost, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure I'm just losing here. Okay, let's go here. And now I'm going to lose this game because now there's no way I can defend this. I've only got a buck 52. No, wait. Okay, let's go. Yeah, there's no way I can because now I have to pick title Tuesday or this game. I can't, can't do both anymore. I think I probably had a draw in there somewhere, but it was just too hard to figure out. Okay, let's, let's, let's focus on this one. Let's go here. Probably I had a draw in there. I think I had a draw, but it was just... I don't know. I had to focus on the title Tuesday game. It's too difficult. Okay, let's go here. I think I had a draw. I think I think right here, I probably had some way to draw, but it's just too hard. Because I can't focus on that game alone. Let's go here. Again, that's also why I should have just made the draw. Um, Or, wait. Let's go here. Okay, let's focus. Uh, let's just cast. I can take and play knight d2. I suspect there was a draw in there, but I, I just I couldn't 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 focus on the game. I'm trying to think about this more. Oh yes, I think. Oh, I just I think I just spotted the draw. Yeah, I think I could have take. I think I just spotted the draw. Okay, let's take and go here and see four. I think I just spotted the draw. I think I spotted the draw in there. Good check. I think I just spotted it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could have got, done the whole G3 line with takes, king e2, gf4, king e3. I think I think I just spotted the win. Good check. Go back. Okay, let's play c4, queen c2, and rook e1. Or rook c1, rather. Go here, queen c2, rook c1. Next move. Target the pawn on d5. Let's see. Uh, King H4. Yeah, I have nothing, right? I'm just, just losing. Pretty confident it's losing. Uh, let me just back play. Either. Yeah, it's, it's just losing. All right, it's just losing. I should have made the quick draw. That's why I should have made the quick draw. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, okay, let's change the scene. Let's go back. Uh, there we go. Um, let me close that game. I, I'm pretty confident I had a draw in there, but it is what it is. Let me pop up the chat and everything else. Was there a draw in there? I think there was a draw in the Rook and Pawn end game. I think there was in the Rook and Pawn, but I'm, I'm obviously I'm playing another tournament now, so I don't want to look at it. Uh, no draw. Well, it always is going to say black is better, um, but I'm pretty sure there was something there. Pretty confident. Let's go Knight B3 here. Um, yeah, I should have just made the draw. Bishop G4 lost. H takes G5 was a draw. Yeah, if it's only minus one, then it was a draw. If it's only minus 1.1, then I had something. I missed a draw. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that after uh, that when he misplayed it and he let me get Rook B4, there was a draw. I, I should have just made a draw at the start rather than played. But that, that's on me for not making the draw at the beginning of the game. Because there just there wasn't enough time to get it. Um, there wasn't enough time to get it to to where it was simplified enough. That was the problem. It, it was 10 o'clock. If I had five more minutes, I think I could have gotten a simplified enough position where it would have been easier to play. But it was too too difficult there. Thank you to DV Dale for the nine clown gamers v Kerholic. Um, I can play H3 here. I just take. Oh, this is pretty good. One second, let me turn on the logos. There we go. Um, but yeah, I I, th I think I did. I had Rook C1 instead of Rook B4. There was more drawage. I had something. He was definitely winning, and then he misplayed it. But it's it's you know it's what it is. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. At least we played the game. I think it a blonde Texan for three. Digs help for four. B1 Schwat constant Cub. I also should have made a draw earlier. Um, well, playing two games, I think if there were two clap two uh, slow games, it wouldn't be an issue. But when I try to play a three minute game, like I very easily. Would have, would have, could have lost that second game in title Tuesday um, if I hadn't been completely focused. 
Where's the draw? I'll look afterwards. I'm pretty confident there was a draw. Um, I'm pretty confident that there was a draw in there somewhere. But but once again, I I, I have to focus because now if I start thinking about during this game, I'm gonna like probably blunder in here and make a mistake. Score three one. Uh oh. Um. Okay. I can take. I can also go knight a five. I can also go queen b2. I'm much better here. I definitely am better, but I have to find the right way to play this. I think I'm just going to take and go here. Should have gone queen b2 for... Eh. No, let's go here. I need to explain why rook d2 is losing, because he has rook f2 check, rook takes f3. And he untangles immediately. I need to chest wc for the four months. Um, let's just take knight a5. Okay, now I'm just going to win this game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> After h3, h takes g5 was apparently my 0 0.5. Yeah, I knew there was a draw in there. I, I But the thing is, like, I, I couldn't think. I needed about probably, like, two minutes to think, and I had to spend those two minutes, those two extra minutes I had, focusing on, this, on the title Tuesday game. Um, but, yeah. What is the team score? Thank you, Mark Lino. I'll feel bad if the team loses because of that. But I, I don't think, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I just take and take. Okay, I'm up a pawn, completely winning. After h takes g5, rook b4. I mean, I'll look. I'll look at the end. I, I'm not gonna look right now. Let's, let's go here. Trade off. Create the winning end game. Two outside pawns, and it's just winning. I go here. B5, a4. I go bishop b5. Actually, bishop b5 also is just very clean. Yeah. Take. Go b5, a4, a5. Too many pawns. Bishop c7. Game over. Push the pawn. Um, I have to focus as I continue to read each comment. Yeah. Okay, a6, king d7, just bishop e5, hit the pawn, push the pawns, game over. It doesn't matter, the team was lost anyway. Well, if it's 3-1, if it's 3-1, then that means maybe it did matter. Take. They get the win. Oh, they lose even if I win? Okay, but I was never going to win. Oh, so I, I we would have lost anyway. Okay, let me pull up the game. I, I There it is. Okay, let me pull up this game. Let me go back here. Yeah, like right around here is bad. Okay. Right here. He misplayed it though. He really misplayed it when I got this. Yeah, I go here. Here. And this is where I think there was maybe not rook before. No, I think this all is correct. I think there's something here. Let me think about this. It was minus 0 0.5 you get, guys said. So let me go back. Rook c4 or a takes g5? Wait, why is rook c4? Wait, what takes? A takes g5 and then rook c4. Okay, so takes, takes. Here, here. And why is this winning? Takes here, g4. Why is this winning? Or not winning? Why is this drawing? No, this isn't drawing. This is just losing. Or wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, wow. oh, it is a draw. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, I mean, okay, but I mean, th th there's no way I find this draw. There's no way I find this draw. I mean, there's no way that I... F oh, wow. That's a beautiful draw. Yeah, there's, there's no way that I find this draw. And it, it, it was like three minutes on the clock. That is very beautiful. That's amazing. That is absolutely beautiful. That is beautiful. Also, I just realized, I think there's also rook f5 here. Because then rook e4, you check takes. Yeah, this is a draw. No, in classical chess, I think I find it. If I if I have 20 minutes to focus, where I can just think about, think on the one game, I find it. I think I find it. Yeah, if I, if I have 20 minutes, if I have 20 minutes in like a slow game, I, I'm pretty sure that I find this. Because the only the other end game that I was thinking about was also this one. Um, oh, but I'm actually just terrible at chess. He has f3. Oh, okay, I'm just really bad at chess. I was thinking I could go G. You know what I spent all my time looking at was I spent my time looking at this line. I forgot he could just go F3. That would have been even more embarrassing than what I did. That would have been really embarrassing to calculate some fantastic long line with this. Um, although this is a draw. This is what I couldn't calculate in my head. I wasn't sure if this was a draw or not. Rook B1, King H5. And this is a draw. Okay, I wasn't sure. But, I mean, at least I didn't play this. I'm like, okay, G3, I reached this draw and Rook and Pawn endgame. And then he goes f3, and I, I would have that would have been much more embarrassing uh, if I had done that. But if I had won, it would have been a draw at best, but the game is never winning yet. I think a good night chess TV for the 17th. So yeah, because really the only options were either I play or I make a draw. Um, those were the only options, really. And I never really had a chance in the game. And I, I mean, I could have made a quick draw, but it wouldn't have changed. 
the match unfortunately luckily today is the only day we have to deal with this because tomorrow um tomorrow tomorrow we play in the middle match so we'll have time for we'll have time to play and uh we'll, we'll have time to play and um we'll have time to play and uh play in um uh, arena kings afterwards so we'll, we'll have time to play a cool game a cool clean game um yeah i, I would have found the draw if i had 20 minutes to think but with only like six minutes not even six minutes really only like a minute at best to look um yeah that's that's what i would say yeah no it's, it's, it, it happens it's, it's not not that big of a deal it's just annoying because i knew there was something there but i just couldn't figure it arjun is arian is trying to win with king and rook versus king and rook <laughs> uh why am i not number one uh there's probably some glitch actually why am i in dark i want light ui let me let me refresh the page don't want to go to go there okay there we go all right get round four coming up there we're on three out of three so we're doing doing well in this game at least um so it's it's pretty good can't complain yeah we no no i'm doing well i'm on three out of three in title tuesday so i'm, I'm doing okay it's not not so bad um it's, it's pretty decent Is Till of Tuesday still going on? Yeah, it is. Light mode sucks. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, from Rajbob to random GMs on Title Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, but you know what? Did I have? Did I have that too? He won. Oh wait, did I have? Did I have another draw in there? Wait a second. I just, wait, it just occurred to me. Did I have another draw in here? Oh, could I have taken and gone here? Oh no, then he is 94. No, okay, so I'm not so stupid. Okay, he is 94. Okay, so I'm not so stupid. Okay. So I'm not I'm not I'm not losing my mind. Okay, thank you to Dr. Bacon for the tier one. Thank you so much. Um I might have had yeah, but that that whole that whole trick with Rook C4, I mean, it, it's actually a very useful end game. Uh it's a very useful end game. That, that's that's very very helpful for, for cause it's very practical for the long term. A uh, time to go eleven out of eleven. Yeah, I'll do my best. I mean, I never really had anything. It's it's what happens. I mean that's also why I needed the big time edge so that I could actually finish those two games. Um still think about the Rajabov game. Well, I'm just thinking about it because it was an interesting working pawn end game. And if you get that position in a in a blitz game or something, like in a world blitz championship, like you you I mean you don't want to miss those opportunities. So it's just something useful to think about. Um Okay, we're playing Carlos Abrogon. Okay, let's play a Sicilian because it worked so well last week. I only scored like one and a half out of four with it. So we're gonna keep memeing. Um let's let's play a Nidorf. Okay, so we're on three out of three of course we're, we're doing pretty well chat is very delayed for me today uh maybe it is I'm, I'm not actually sure but let's see okay he plays h4 he plays this old this is this is nonsense but it's very it, this is actually something i think daniel's played quite a bit i'm gonna play b5 i know it's not the right move but when i when i'm in doubt I'm, i always play b5 and e5 to play bad chess okay, a4 is logical let's go b4 maybe even go e5 is kind of interesting here I'm not I don't want to get too far I don't want to go too deep into the weeds takes a knight c5 I think is is very sharp so I'm gonna go for it okay, let's go for it. I'm gonna go for this I know it's not right but it's extremely sharp let's let's go for this when in doubt play bad exactly that's that's always the, that's the moral of the story so he goes knight c7 I take I mean this is really the question he can go here takes takes but I I don't know I think somehow his queen's getting trapped when in doubt play bad chess yes that that's always the moral of the story this bishop c4 okay now the question is can I actually play rook a7 here I can obviously go bishop b actually wait what is this trick I just take wait a sec wait wait a second wait a second I feel like he's misplayed this somehow I just need to figure this out I think Bishop b7 is a move Bishop g5 Queen d7 Bishop g5 8 I don't believe him actually I really don't believe him Let's go here because here I just take I don't believe him and if he goes Bishop g5 I still just play h6 here and I just take and run the king If I get knight d7, knight f6, I win the game. Go here. 
Okay, let me think. Knight to seven. Knight to seven, queen to seven is good. Knight of six, gf six is good. Bishop e seven, bishop e seven, knight to seven takes. No, he's got nothing. If he's got it, he's got it. I don't see it. If he's got if he's got if he's got a checkmate, then so be it. But I don't see it. Whoa, okay, now I go here, and now I mean now he's completely misplayed it. I mean this this is terrible for white. And it's maybe still not so simple to win on the spot, but I mean this looks awful. Yeah, he goes queen e2. I can obviously take here. I can also play h6 maybe. What am I gonna do? Here? Let's think for a second. Cause I I know I'm better. I don't want to throw this game. Let's go here. If I get a couple more moves, then I'm just going to win the game. I just need to finish my development. Kick his piece out of the center and just end the game. He's obviously at a big deficit because he's... Uh, because he's moved a lot of pieces early. He does have knight f5, which I forgot about, though. Then I have f6, probably. I think queen d7 might have... Well, no, queen d7 allowed knight b6. You know, that was not good. Hmm. Sacks. Okay, I kind of thought he might go for this. Yeah, he's going to play like knight f5. Oh, he's going to... Oh, did I just blunder? I can also... Oh. Did I just blunder? I did just wonder. How did I do that? Did I really just do that? I mean, I have a knight d3 check. In oh, I've also got no time. I've just got to move. Why am I thinking so long? I have to play this endgame down like a pawn or something. It's terrible. Oh, and I can't even cast him. That's how bad this is. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Why did I do this? I mean, I hung everything here. Literally hung everything. Completely winning out of the opening, I just threw this so hard. And now, now I look stupid for playing two games at the same time, of course. Yeah, just ridiculous. I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go to h5 too. Go here. Thanks. Here. I'm trying to double stack it. I might have a draw here.
I think I might get a draw. This is ridiculous. I think I get a draw. <laughs> this is <laughs> how did I get a draw? This is insane. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's like hilarious. So bad. Just so bad. Terrible. I mean, I was completely winning here. Like completely winning. In turn, let me go to the live game. That was so bad. I, I mean, sometimes you just have to laugh at chess. That was so bad. Yeah, like I mean, right here. Yeah, queen e2. Yeah, just like e h6 is good. But then, yeah, and I just lose. I just lose. Rook c h is a losing move. Yeah, if I take and go like f6 or e6 or something, I'm fine. Thank you to killed her for the five. Yeah. Sometimes you have to laugh at chess. But the funny thing is, I think once he are, it's already a draw, right? Wait, where's the win? G6? Oh, he can go rook a7 and he can hide on the edge. He can hide on the edge with the open file. Wow. He can hide on the edge. It's still winning with rook a Oh, wow. He can hide on the edge. That's hilarious that he can hide on the edge with the rook here. And he's winning. Anyway, whatever. It's a draw. It's not the end of the world. So we draw the game. We're on three and a half out of four. Uh, we're going to take a short break. We'll keep rolling along with round uh, round five of Title II. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys are back. What was the final score in the CSL match? Uh, just, so, just so I have some idea. What was the final score? They were counting on me very sad. Well, I tried my best. It wasn't meant to be. I mean, I could have made a quick draw or could have played. I had two options and I tried to play and it didn't work out. I could have, I mean, it was 4-2, so I would have had to win. Yeah, so I can't feel bad at all. Because the draw doesn't make any difference. Yeah. It's disrespectful to Rajbob. Oh, yeah. It's disres Here we go with the disrespectful nonsense. Yeah, thank you. Would it really be a draw without the simul, though? Well, I think without the simul, I would not have played as quickly or as risky as I did. I was playing too fast. Um, I was playing way too fast. So, yeah. Anyway, one banana down, five more to go. I don't have five bananas, you guys. I only have two bananas. But yeah, here we go. Um, round five coming up. Hey, Tiger Clown for the 15 months. Thank you so much, Tiger Clown. Thank you to Cali Ba for the nine and Oh Boy for the seven. Break your banana record, please. Um, no. No, I've had um I've had a uh, five on five bananas on stream. So we're on three and a half out of four. Reasonable score for 386 players. Uh, so it's gonna be a pretty low scoring winner, most likely. So yeah, it does lower your overall points. So yeah, I mean, I guess I, I should have just made a draw, but whatever. Uh, opinion on John Gruden situation. I mean, the guy shouldn't have said that. I mean, putting that in emails is insane. All right, so we should be starting pretty soon. Um, let's see. Yeah. How am I feeling now? I feel okay. I have a little bit of headache, but I'm okay. Anyway, round, round five coming up uh, in a second. I think, thank you to... Um, have one on one for the five months. Thank you so much to have one on one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, you guys. Yeah, I tried. I tried playing both. It didn't work out, but you know it is what it is. All right. Where am I? I am in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. Do I watch XQC anymore? I do from time to time. Thank you to Pass Pond for the thirty-five. I always watch um, here and there. I watch him. Um, uh, I do, I do watch, uh, I do, I do watch, um, XQC here or there. Not, not, not a whole lot, but, but here or there. I mean, I don't watch Twitch a lot in my downtime because of course I stream so many hours. I'm trying to study chess as well. It's very, very difficult. One loss is not a big day. Three days left. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I would say is today's the only day we're going to be in that situation. You know, whatever, what clever for the tier one. Thank you so much. I mean, any other day we're not going to be in that situation. Um, so that's what I would say. Because tomorrow the round is er, is uh, one hour earlier, so I'll be able to play just calmly and finish the game. Because then we'll have um, because because then I'll have uh, Arena Kings, but I'll, I'll have like an hour in between, so it'll be fine. But yeah, we keep going. So we're in round. Uh, this is round five coming up, and we'll see we'll see how we do. 
do i watch the dodgers i don't really watch baseball, baseball super super often uh here or there i do i mean obviously people in la are following it but i'm just not big on it so yeah what's with the hoodie swags um the hoodie swags uh this is just a, I, I i get free stuff as, as a as, as a streamer generally you get free stuff uh, it's it's really good it's really good you get like free hoodies free t-shirts uh whether it's like B tsm merch whether it's otv merch um you know it's it's all pretty good so yeah pineapple shirt i've got that too yeah yeah Sick drip, bro. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Anyway, yeah, so we keep keep rolling along. Um, round round. I, I I feel like it's been more than six minutes already since since uh since the break, but but yeah. What collab did I do with OTV? I haven't done any collabs with them specifically. I wouldn't mind doing collabs with them though. Totally, totally. Am I gonna play GTA? No, because I'm playing a serious chess tournament pretty soon over the board. Um, if I wasn't playing a serious chess tournament over the board, I would totally probably make a go of it, but uh, with, with variety, but it's not the time, not the time. Yeah, it's not the time. Man, it's been more than six minutes. What's what's with this break? It's been like forever. Um, but yeah. All right, what is going on? Let me open Slack and find out what is going on. I mean, we've been on we've been on a break for I feel like ten years now. This is insane. It's definitely been more than six minutes. It's it's been well over six minutes now. Um, there's always time for GTA. I mean, I, I, GTA is GTA, yeah. But like, um, okay, here we go. Finally, okay, we're gonna play Platy. I'm gonna play. Uh, you know what? I want to play E. No, I want to play Knight of Three. Let's let's double clutch and change it. Okay, I'm gonna do something. Oh right, but he plays this one. Let's go here in castle, I guess. He can go a4, obviously. Yeah, he's gonna play this line. He always likes to play this line. I mean, I know it's not great objectively, but he always likes to do it. Thank you to Mac GH for the prime. Okay, I go queen e2 and rook b1. I mean, maybe he can go b5, but it doesn't look right. A knight e5 is always a move. Rook e1. I think d4, c4 is what I like to play here, so I'm just do it anyway. Play d4 and then c4. I mean, I just, I know this is not good for, for black. I'm kind of surprised that uh, Picho continues to play this because it's not good, um, objectively. The structure is, is really not great for black here. Just queen a5, let's play rook c1. And take, I can also go knight, knight e5 looks like a good move here. Takes, takes, and takes, but knight e5, I mean, Let's think for a second. I can also just go here to target the queen. Maybe it's better. He goes queen there. I just go here guard. Now I can take. I can also play c5. Don't know if this is right though. This is some weird knight a5 maybe. But I still have c5 and it should be good. Whoa! Thank you to Refactor Ear for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Refactor Ear. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Appreciate it. Um. Now I can go queen d1 or queen e1. C5 is obviously a move. I don't love it. I also have knight e5 again. Again, knight e5 is like lurking. I think I'm gonna put my queen here. Just open up the scope. And now I think I'm gonna go knight e5. It looks like the right move. Oh, he's got knight e4 though. C5 and bishop b5 is also attractive. So many options here. It's actually very hard to figure out what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna go here in bishop b5. I don't know if it's right, but it's an idea at least. Go here. I get a Lord Trickster for the two months. Thank you so much. I can obviously trade here. I guess I should trade, of course. 
Knight d2, maybe? Maybe rook a2, rook b2 is interesting as well. Knight d2 feels like the right move. But you know what? I think I want to... Um, hmm. I want to complicate matters somehow. How do I complicate? I can't complicate because my pieces are on the wrong squares. I'm going to go here in knight d3 or something. The b6 I take and take. Yeah, it goes b6, so I guess I'll just take and take. Trusting that I'm not hanging something. Okay, it goes knight a5, so he's admitting that he's made a very slight mistake. It's probably, it's not a serious mistake, but a, a very slight error. Um, maybe I can't even take advantage of it, though. Uh, I don't have f3. Hmm. Uh. Ah. Uh, let's take. I guess I'll take and go bishop c2, maybe. Alright, trade on c8 or not. Or do I just go... Actually, I can also just go here to trade bishops. Oh, I hung a3. Oh my gosh, I just hung a3. Luckily, I have rook b1, but... Ay -ay -ay -ay. I'm also moving way too slowly, because I'm, I'm too I'm too in the flow from rapid. So I'm moving too... Because I'm just... Because I just play this rapid game, I'm too... I'm just way too slow. I should have just traded and gone bishop c2. That was so stupid of me. Not that it was winning or anything, but it was just much better. Um... I guess let's just play. Why not? Actually, I'm down to down a minute, so I should probably just make a draw here. I can't lose this game, but but I also can't really win either. Okay, let's go here. Maybe knight g2, maybe queen f3. I'm trying to get sneaky here. I'm trying to in induce him to making a sack or something. Oh, is there some way that I can play this? I don't have good moves, though. Yeah, I'm kind. Of, I'm I'm too long on time. I, I can't play rook b8. Let's just go here. Yeah, I just have to make the draw here. I'm, I'm down way too much time here to be going for anything crazy. Maybe too much to already win. No, two draws should be plenty. Should be fine. Um. Um. Wait a second. I can play h5. No. I guess I just go here. Maybe rook c8 first was better, but I think I'm okay here. I'm way too slow, though. Way too slow on time. Okay, let's go h5. Guess I'll go here. No bishop g3s. That looks like a weird move. Let's go here. Whoa. Um, I don't know if this is right. It's a little bit risky, but... Oh, I could have just taken and gone rook f3. What am I doing? Oh, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? What, what is wrong with me? Let's go check. Go here. Actually, queen b8 is checkmate, I just realized. He's in really bad... I might be winning here. Wait a second. I might be winning. Wait a second, you guys. I have to focus.
We got the win. <laughs> we got the win. Everyone's like, oh, time, time, time. Don't flag. And we got the win. Oh, big win. Yeah, he really misplayed it. Uh, he was still fine. What he needed to do was he basically, he needed to simplify. Um, right around here, he needed to simplify. He actually thought because I had no time he could play, he needed to simplify already. And right here, I think queen d2 or queen e2 were the ways to make the draw. When he didn't simplify and I got h5, there are all these weird threats of mates and also diagonals. All kinds of problems and king's a little bit open. Yeah, and then once he went bishop e7, that was when it really went bad. Maybe it's already here. Yeah, here already, I think I'd work up seven. I was fine, but yeah. But yeah, it worked out. It was minus five. Wait, what? Wait, he, what? I blundered, what? Wait, what? I was losing? Wait, 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 wait a second. What? Wait, what? Where was I losing? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait a second. Are you guys debating me? It was minus five after rook c1. No, you're debating me. Okay, you guys are you guys are debating me. Whatever. Ridiculous. All right, next game coming up. We're on four and a half out of five. We're in good shape here. Oh, later in the game. I mean, may, maybe you, if you, the second rook c1, someone give me a move and I'll, I'll try to pull it up. If you have a move number, I'll pull it up. Second rook c1. Oh, right here? Oh! Oh, rook d2. Oh! 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 Yes, it is losing. Oh, it is losing. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think a ban is in order uh for what exactly yeah chat was honest this time yeah we're on four and a half out of five we're doing completely fine in this, this uh so far at least they do pammy j for the 10 months thank you so much pammy j appreciate it thank you so much to pammy j so much pammy j Kira, stop debating. I'll, I'll ban you next time you write that. Just chill, dude. Um, yeah, keep rolling. Um, thank you so much to uh, PB Moon uh, Moon's Monster Geek for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Nomad Dude for the two as well. Thank you so much, you guys. For all the subs. Thank you for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Am I really a GM? No, I'm not really a GM, you guys. I'm a FIDE master. Who knew? Um, anyway, yeah. I've won quite a few Title Tuesdays uh, over the years. Quite a few. Play the Carl Kant? No, I don't play the Carl Kant. Okay, tough, tough opponent here. Already very thin field, as you see. This is the point. It's a very, very thin field. Um, very thin field in terms of fives. There are only, there are only seven guys on five. Sicilian worked so well last time. We got a draw, so let's let's do the Sicilian again. I'm gonna play a6 here. Push g3, interesting. Okay, let's go g6 and bishop g7, I guess. See what he does. Um, okay, he's gonna play this. He's gonna go c3. It's a weird position. I actually don't know what's going on in this line. It's a little bit weird. Plays rookie one. Now I can go knight f6, knight d5 here. I can just play d6 too. Or maybe I'll just play d6, e5, knight e7. Seems pretty reasonable at least. Now let's play e5 and knight e7. And d3, I go here. Rook on e1 is misplaced. It should be on f1, so white can play for f4, f5 normally. I mean, he can obviously go bishop e3. He's going to play a3. He's going to play this a3, b4 line. I remember when I was much younger, I had a lot of games in this against none other than Roland Schmaltz, the, the legendary Hawkeye Grandmaster from Germany. He used to always play as a bullet against him with D3, C3, B4, A3. So I have a lot of a lot of fond memories from the old days um, of this line. He goes knight D2. Yeah, I think the idea is to play knight B3 or not. Knight B3 actually would. I can go bishop E6 too. I don't remember. It's been so long since I played this line. 
Uh, yeah, he's from Deutschland, from from Ger Germania. Um, I don't know if H6 is even right, honestly, but it seems like a move at least. Seems like a move, and moves are, are better than not moves. That's for sure. Okay, goes Bishop B2. I think Bishop E6 is still correct because I stopped Knight G5. I mean, I have to play this on concepts at least. A6 is weird. The pawn should be on A7, not A6, but it does stop B5, D4 at least. Interesting game, though. I'm actually really enjoying this this game. Very conceptual. Very, very conceptual. I mean, he probably plays Knight F1 here. This would be one strange move. I guess the idea is to support the bishop. I can actually tickle tickle with bishop a2, but I don't want to tickle tickle because I want I need to win or win um or win here rather. Sorry, that made no sense. Uh, let's just go. I mean, b5 is a, is he gonna go bishop a1? What is the idea? Um, I don't know. Rook c8 seems like a move. Let's just play it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that made no sense. Sorry, you guys. Tickle tickle win or win or yeah. That, that I don't know what's wrong with me. Something's wrong with me. Sorry, guys. Apologies. Apologies for my stupidity. Can okay, I go queen e2? I mean, whoa. Wait, what? Am I following somewhere? What was that? Okay. Okay. Let's close. Okay. I just got scared for a second. Um. I mean, is d4 really a threat? Is the question. I mean, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. I can always go a5. I don't like a5. I don't like b5, but I need to win the game. That's actually the problem here. I need to win this game. If I didn't need to win this game, I could play this so much differently. But the problem is because I need to win, I almost have to gamble. I can't just play standard here. Um, I don't want to spend too much time here. Going d4 next. What can I do to prevent that? Um... Okay, let's go b5 i don't know if it's right but i'm gonna play it queen e3 i probably just go king h7 and f5 i also have a5 as a move too maybe john slaughter for the 15 months thank you so much john slaughter appreciate it. thank you man i think i'm okay here i wouldn't say it's great but it's not terrible All right, I'm just going to delay. I just want to see what his move is. Whoa, thank you to Kildare for the five gifted. Thanks so much to Kildare. Again, he's trying to play for D4. Problem with D4, though, is now that he played B4, he gives me the square for the bishop. When he tries to go for these D4 ideas, he gives me the square. That's the big mistake here, I think, by white. Tough position for both of us, though, because it's, it's a very move-by-move -move situation. Whoever breaks the structure, the other player is going to have to think for 20 seconds. Every move requires thinking by both of us, I think. So it's a tough spot to be in. Okay, goes knight b3. I have c4 here. I don't really want to play it, though. Queen a7 is also... Knight d8 is also a move. Knight b8 is also a move. Oh, man. This is the thing. It's such a tough spot to be in. No, wait. I don't want to hang the pawn. Um, mm -hmm. Takes. I'm going to go here and move my knight back, probably. <laughs> this is such a hard position for both players to play. Whoever blinks first is probably going to lose the game, is what I would say. Maybe I have f5. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't know if this is good, but let's go for it. Let's go for something a little bit wild now. Because time is tight for both of us. Very hard position to play. He takes, I take. I think it's a safe premium, so I'll do it. Because of the time situation, I think it's the right moment to complicate. I have to take, I'm going to take. I mean, this is getting very wild. Do I take or not is also a question. I can also take B3. I'm going to take this one. It's got to go C4, and then I go like G5. It was D4. Wait, I thought that was a mistake. Wait a second. Okay, I don't want to think too long here. Don't want to trade. I can take here. Oh, man, this is a tough spot to be in. I think I'm going to play something positional here. Go here. This bishop is so bad on A1. I'm also threatening to take, maybe. 
Yeah, it's gonna go A4, I assume, at some point. Um, I'm gonna go G5. That was a terrible move, but he plays G4, which is actually just as bad. G4 was an awful move by White. Oh, I got a move too, though. Wait. Go A5. I guess I'll just go here. Why am I thinking? Why am I thinking so much? I'm thinking way too much. Okay, trades I take. Go here and force a trade. Oh, I hung a, I hung the pawn. But I'm going to win anyway, I think. Go here. Go here. I'm, I'm mating him. He's just checkmated. Oh, no, he's not mated. Wait, what? Uh... Wait, what's going on with my mouse? There we go. There we go. Uh, go here. Two. Okay, we got the dub. Good win. We move ourselves up the scoreboard. Five and a half out of six. Very, very tense game. Very tight. Thank you to SIC Corals for the tier one. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking too long. I'm playing. I, the rapid kind of messed me up a little bit. Just watching those games and playing the rapid game. I'm moving. I'm just moving too slow. Big winnel. Yeah. Thank you, to Jappio, for the 15 months. Thank you so much, Jappio. Uh, thank you for the 15 yeah winnel winnel chicken dinnel yeah exactly yeah yeah i don't know what i'm saying but anyway we got the win moved to five and a half out of six uh and we're, we're in the hunt we're in the hunt really in the hunt here we're in the hunt what more can you ask for yeah we're we're, we're trying to make a run of it trying to make a run but tough all these guys are very strong. What, what can you say? I mean, these guys are all very, very strong. So it's, uh, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy, that's for sure. But we're, 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 we're doing well. We're doing well. I missed the mate when the king went to h No, I didn't, because bishop d6 check. He is e5 with the rook on e8. That's why I was so mad at myself, because I thought I was winning, and then I wasn't winning. And it's just, like, so dumb um, by me, because then it gets messy. But luckily, I was able to keep my wits about me and still win the game. Um, do I watch Vsauce? A little bit. Not super closely, but a little bit, yeah. Am I upset with the loss of Rajabov? Not really. It didn't make a difference in the match. I mean, if the game had started earlier at about five more minutes, maybe it's different. But, you know, the, the games are going to start when they start. You can't really fault them. Obviously, some games run long, and um, it happens. If, if that loss had cost us the match, I'd feel a little bit unhappy. But it, it didn't make a difference in the overall match score. Um, so, it's all good. I didn't have a mate. No, I, I didn't have a checkmate. That was the thing. Who's the GM at the top? Does that mean... Tabo Tabo he's uh he's like he's pretty young he did well in the World Cup I think he made it to like the quarterfinals maybe he lost to Fedo save in the quarter so he played played really really well okay shield and job are the other two players on six so pretty pretty standard field so far one of us is gonna play up I don't know it's probably gonna meet be me do I play chess without streaming too you know just to hide some strategies not really I mean I've found actually that I find it very hard to play off stream now um I just find I find it very hard to play off stream these days, so I almost never play. So, anywho, we're doing pretty well. We're um we're we're running it up on the scoreboard. We are um five and a half out of six heading into the home stretch here. Uh, ten and a half out of eleven, inshallah. That's that's the hope. Okay, are there any games left? Uh, one game left. So, oh God. Oh God! Here we are. Someone, someone's like, someone's dancing. Someone's doing the, the L dance right now. 
They're, 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 come on. He's already, Jim, he's already dead. Just make the checkmate. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's just what it's, it's the L, right? Oh, come on, seriously? Okay, finally we can move on next round. <sighs> okay. Not what we are watching. Yeah, we're here. We're here watching something. Okay, I play shield. This is Noterbeck, right? Is this Noterbeck or not Noterbeck? Is this um? Oh, there's someone else. This is Vokadov, a different GM. Okay. Did a Rook 3D for the 17. I'm gonna keep playing my standard stuff here. Let's go here. I guess D4 Bishop B2. So D4 takes. So far, so good. So far, so good. Bishop G4, interesting. I can obviously trade and just play this middle game. F3 is kind of interesting. Do I want to trade? What do I want to do here? Hmm. Again, why am I thinking so long as well? And yeah, let's just take. Let's just play a middle game. Let's play again. I'm going to play a middle game based on the pawn structure. This is just the middle game based purely on pawn structure, nothing else. We'll see. We'll see how good it is under. Please, G6 is very interesting. Castle and play like C4 and Rook D1, Knight C3, all pretty standard so far. Let's go here. Rook D1, of course. I also have Knight A4. Uh, looks a little bit suspicious. Queen C7 looks a little bit suspicious. Maybe it's not bad per se, but it looks suspect. Putting the queen on the line where he's gonna have to waste the tempo by moving the queen. Okay, but now I go here. I'm gonna go here on queen b2 maybe. Did he just blunder? Wait a second. Yeah, he just blundered. I can take and fork him. Oh, no. He's got queen a3. Ugh. Oh, I missed that. Okay, I guess I'll go... And see that. That was so stupid of me. Let me just think about this. Bishop f6 takes, takes. I don't want to go knight d3. I think I'm just going to go back and trade, I guess. I can play f3, I think. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Have f3, maybe. The eight. I can still play f3 if I want. Queen c2 looks like a good move, though. I'm trying to complicate it, but I, I think I've missed the boat on this in this game. Before. Now, actually, wait. I can sack my queen here. Wait a second. I can actually sack my queen. Let's do it. I th I assume. I mean, the two rooks should be better than the. The two rooks should be better than the queen here, based on the pawn structure, especially. Maybe not, but. I, I feel like this must be better for the two rooks. We'll see. Thank you to Lava for the eleven months. It was e6 as expected, so now I go like rook c2. I need to consolidate. Is a5. Knight b2, knight d3 is the move. Even rook c1, but then d4. It takes knight c3, should be fine. Let's just go. Let's go here to trade some knights. Knight c3, knight e2 is also fine.
Okay, it trades into the end game. It's gonna be a fun end game. Let's see what happens here. Okay, come back to the queen. I figure if I can get a pass on here, like a3, b4. Or maybe I did this wrong. Cause he's got e5 and d4 here. Yeah, he goes h5. How do I play this actually? It's oddly tricky. Maybe b4 here. Oh, then queen a3. Um, wow, this is actually very tricky. I think I'm going to go here. And g4, I'm going to go g3 and then b4, I guess. It's a very tricky end game. I just need to get my pawns rolling. If I can get these pawns rolling, I'm going to win. He goes g4. He wants to play h4. So if I go g3, h4 takes. I still think this is good, though. As long as there's no checkmate here. I think this is okay. I'm going to go b4, b5. 100%. It does that, so I go here. Now, the question is, do I go a3, b4 or not? All right, b4 takes. b5, king h3, e4, g3. I mean, b4 looks right. Yeah, this must be right. I take. I'm going to go king h5, and I go, like, I don't know, a4 or something. It's very tricky to play. He found adequate counterplay, which is kind of annoying. Um, Tough. If I can just get this a pawn, maybe a4. Actually, yeah, so let's just start running the a pawn up the board. If I get this a pawn rolling, I mean, it's so hard to play. e4 takes rook b3, queen c2. I go rook a1, king h3. I mean, I guess I'll go. I think I misplayed this. I don't think I'm winning anymore. I think I misplayed this. Although maybe f5, I can still go rook a1 or rook f1. I think I misplayed this. I think this was winning. I think my mistake is queen c3. I don't. Okay, so he goes. Oh, I've got. Wait, how do I have no time here exactly? Wait, how do I have no time again? Like, again, I've got no time. This is crazy. Every game I'm looking, I'm just like, what's going on? Let's go here. Let's just push. Go here. And I found that move too, which is a good move. Oh, and now I hung the pawn. So, um. Go here. Oh, did he trick himself? Wait, he tricked himself. Oh, I think I'm mating him. He tricked himself. He tricked himself. He's got no check. Ooh, he tricked himself into mate. He tricked himself into mate. <laughs> we got the win. He tricked himself into the mate. I I think my mistake was um right back here. Not that it's easy, but I think I had to play h3 first. Because if h5 and then I go here, if g4, I can take. And he, he can't get the king in to create mate threats. Um, But whatever. We got the win. Okay, we get the dub. We move to six and a half points out of seven. We're we're trying. We're gonna play Joppy in round eight for for all the all the rubles. It looks like maybe not all the rubles because we still have a few more rounds. But six and a half out of seven. Only one person on seven. And it looks like I'm the only person on six and a half. So it's a very thin um very thin field at the moment. Very very thin field. Who's Joppy? Joppy is a, a grandmaster from the Netherlands. Thank you to Roy LT for the eight months. Thank you so much to Roy LT for the eight. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to play Jordan Van Force. I think I'm going to get black, which is kind of annoying. 
So I have to, okay, Minlay wins as well. So I have to either play for, play solid against Jordan, or I have to go for broke. My instinct says I go for broke. Again, I don't care about anything that's not first place in, the, in title Tuesday is, is like last place. So I, I think I just go for broke. Yeah, we definitely go for broke here. Not first place when there's no Wesley or Magnus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Did I ever win title two with 11 out of 11? Yes. One time, you guys. We've done it one time. Only once, but one time. Yeah. Minlay, uh, I think in classical chess, I would put him around 2550. Oh, uh, that's what, that's what, that's what I would put, um, I would, I would put, uh, put Minlay at. 2550 in classical. I mean, in Blitz, he's obviously much stronger, but in classical, I think 2550. Okay, we played Jabba with Black. Do I go for Broke or not? I think I go for Broke. It's very dangerous going for broke, but he's probably going to play D4 to it. And I guess I'll, you know what? I'll still go G6. Why not? Let's. <laughs> okay, he goes A3 to troll me. Um. Uh. I guess I'll do that. I mean, it's going to be in English or something. I, I don't know. Like. Yeah, he goes A3 to troll me. I, I love the troll from Jordan. Really good stuff. I, I love it. Let's go here. I love it. I love it. Okay, he goes bishop f4, but this one I think is a little bit. He's played a3, which has to be a loss of a tempo, right? Let's go c5 and knight c6, I guess. He can actually take, maybe. I mean, this is very weird. Just c3. I mean, let's just go here, hit the pawn. I don't know why Jordan's doing this, though. He is winning the tournament. It's a little bit weird to be playing like this. Actually, B4 is a good move. I'm going to go D6 here. B4 is a very good move. I, I kind of forgot he could play it. Now he's kind of justified in playing this line, which just makes this really, really funny too. I think I'm going to play A5. I'm, I'm going to try to make this as weird as possible. I'm going to make this game as, as weird as we humanly can. Um, it's going to take something. Yeah, this is going to be very weird. I, I, I mean, I think his bishop is bad on d2. It's behind a pawn wall. And he's already moved it a ton of times. So I think his bishop is bad. But I, I just want to make this as weird as possible. Yeah, I want to make this game, like, super, super weird. Which probably is wrong, because I bet if I just played standard chess, I could claim some kind of advantage here. But he already played Aether on move one. So for the gamesmanship, it's kind of weird to, to suddenly do that. Maybe he'll go a4 here. Yeah, he does play a4. Okay, let's go e5. I'm, I'm going to have to try to attack him now in the center of the board. Probably e4. I mean, I have knight f6 here. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to revert to playing normal chess, which kind of sucks. Really kind of sucks. I don't want to play normal chess. Uh, yeah, this is headed for normal, normal land. I'll play rook d8 here. Go here, I guess. Yeah, this is headed for very something very normal-ish. Actually, I might have just made a blunder. Let's go here. Bishop g5, I can just play knight f6. Because f6 or some knight d6 weirdness that I just realized. Um, he goes queen c2. I'm playing knight b6. I mean, this is kind of like very weird. Not weird in a good way either. I'm going to go h6 and b6, I guess. Go here. I don't know if I like g3, actually. I mean, is he going knight e3 or is he going bishop g2? I'm a little bit confused. Let's go here, I guess. He's going to... I think he's going to put the other knight on d2. Yeah, he's going to go this way. So I guess I'll go here and knight e6, maybe. Maybe try to play knight e4 at some point. I also have knight f4 here as well, I just realized. So he goes, like, bishop e2. The castle. Let's go here. I'm going knight e4 next move, almost for sure. Uh, actually, he has f3, which is a good move. Mm hmm. I was going to play knight d4, but now I realize it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, I've actually misplayed this quite a bit. It's going to be hard to actually win now. It's pretty pretty dry. Maybe actually even better for white, potentially. Although I'm kind of skeptical on that. I think I'll just go here. I want to go knight d4 still. So he moves the knight. I mean, I'm going to go knight d4. Still love to go knight d4, but I don't think it works. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go here, I guess. Maybe knight d6. Now I give knight b3. Yeah, I'm playing this like an idiot. Playing this like a total idiot. Um, 
I'm gonna be lucky if I can maybe even draw this now. Go H5, I guess. My bishop on my bishop on 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 B7 is horribly horribly misplaced here. I don't even know why I did this. You can just go with queen D3. Yeah. I'm Yuck. Nothing I can really do. Yeah. Let's go here and try to play. I'll try to play. I'm, I'm sure it's wrong, but I'll try. I take, I'll take. Maybe I get bishop g5 or something. I mean, I know this is very dangerous the way I'm playing this. I should probably just make the draw. I should have just made the draw here. This is very dangerous to play on here because I'm definitely a little bit worse. So, um, actually, let's go here in knight of six, maybe. Yeah, he wants that, but I thought I had bishop here. Yeah, because I have bishop e6. Oh, he's got queen c6. What am I... Um, okay, let's go here. Let's go here. I have knight d7, maybe, to hold. I also have bishop c8, bishop b7, maybe. No, okay, wait. This is close. So here I've got 97. Here, hold everything. I've definitely played this in a very questionable manner, but I guess I go f6 and trade. Okay, if I trade, is 95 king d6. It's an interesting idea here with king d6 and f5. I wonder if I try to win this with takes. So risky to try to win this position. It's incredibly risky. It's incredibly risky, so let's try it. Incredibly risky to do this. And it does that. And I'm actually beginning to wonder why I did this. Let's go here. Oh, I blundered knight f6. I blundered I blunder takes knight f6 so bad. Yeah, I mean I deserve to lose this game. I played this game horribly. I deserve to lose. I play this like a complete idiot. No, and again I have no how do I always have no time? This is insane. Every game somehow I think I'm fine on time, then I look and I have like 10 seconds. It's ridiculous. How do I always have no time? It's ridiculous. Here, hit the pawn. Got C4 or something, too. Go here. Go here. Oh, again, I've got... How do I just have no time ever? How do I always have no time? This is so annoying. This is so annoying. Somehow I never have any time. How do I never have any time? This is... Yeah, I mean... I mean, I deserve to lose. I threw that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, t I'm just like moving so slowly, like for no reason. Like, I'm just like impossible every game. And this game, I should have just made the draw. And then I'm like, okay, I'll just take and play on. And I blundered 94. To be fair, 94 was a good move. Yeah, I mean, this was, I just missed knight up six. I just blundered this. Um, yeah, normally I'm up on the clock. When I'm not playing, maybe not playing well, but when like something's a little bit off, that's when I'm not, not up on the clock. And this was just absurd. Like in this position, I should have just made the draw. I should have made the draw earlier though. Honestly, like trying to play on to try and win was, was not smart. No, A3 didn't throw me off. I just, I, I had the draw in the middle game and I just, I didn't want to make the draw. I just want to keep playing on rather than taking and bishop c8 was also bad. Like, if I just go here in knight f6, I can hold. But, you know, I'm down half a point. I want to go for broke. The reason it's a mistake to go for broke, um, the engine says knight c7 instead of king d6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight c7 was another plan that I had, and then I didn't play it. Um, the reason is because I thought king d6 forced c4, so I thought that I could have a more active piece. Yeah, if I go knight c7, c4, I think I have f5 and g4 and, like, knight a6. And it's maybe not knight a6. Maybe I go knight e8 back. And it's, it's actually very unclear still. But the problem is, is that, like, for some reason, in that split second, I forgot that on King d 6 he doesn't have to go C4. He can actually play the very nice Knight F6 idea, which I just forgot about. 
And the other reason it was stupid to play it was because um, if I if I draw that game, I'm still in the hump. If I lose it, someone's now on eight points. That's why it was really stupid. Because because by losing that game, now I have no chance at first. But yeah, I'm just moving too slowly every game. Even the last one was very bad as well. Yeah, I, I mean, just very, very poor. I should have made the draw right back. Um, I should have made the draw right back. Which which move was it? Yeah, I mean, there were many options. First one was here. I should have gone knight b6 and just traded everything and gone bishop e6. This would have been the easiest way to make a draw. Just takes, takes, bishop c4, bishop b6, queen b3. Takes, takes, and like, I just want to say queen d6 and b6. And I mean, white's maybe slightly better, but it's not anything special. But the way I played it was terrible um, with b6. And then, then it still was pretty balanced. Probably, the, I mean, the big mistake by me was that I refused to take the draw. That, that was the big mistake. I just always was refusing to take the draw. Like, right around... Right, right here. Yeah, I mean, I, I should have just, I should have gone rook d8, queen c2, rook c8, and just make the draw. Like, it's just so stupid why, why I was trying to win when there's no win here. Like, there's just no chance for me to ever win. His knight on c4 is always attacking b6. So why did I do that? I should have just gone rook c8, rook d8, make the draw, and then, you know, maybe drop, you lose the game later, maybe I have a chance. But to, but to not make the draw there was really, really bad. Really, really bad decision by me. But again, tried to win, tried to, tried to get first place, and it wasn't meant to be. That being said, um, even though I lost the game, there is actually there are only a bunch of people on seven, so I can still get to second place if I if I play well in the final three. Um, but that was really stupid of me. I don't I don't know why I did that. I should have just made the draw. Very 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 idiotic. I promised to go for broke and I did. Yeah, but I mean, that's eh, still. If the position's not there, you shouldn't go for broke. I mean, you shouldn't go for broke. I mean, if if, if you're if the position isn't there for it like how can i ever win the position all the all the pawns i mean it's a very symmetrical pawn structure he's got a great knight it's just it's not there for the position it's just not there uh so it's just really really stupid to not make draws rook d8 rook c8 like i should have but yeah i mean obviously in retrospect it's, it's easier easier said than done but i still have a, i still have a shot at second if i win my last two i think i can get to second there's one two three four five six seven eight people so uh, if I win, if, yeah, if I win my last three, I can get there. Um, Eric has more points go chess bra. Okay, dude. Trying to troll me or something. Like, that's like saying Levy is four out of four in title two. So it's the same thing, you guys. Like, grow up. Seriously. Um, also, based on, based on the score, I bet Eric played, played softer players. He probably didn't have to play Joppy. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. Like, grow up. I mean, seriously. Uh, uh. All right. Well, unfortunately, I think that means we're on the break too. Of course, so we're on the break, which means uh, it's going to be six minutes till the next game. Um, it, it isn't whether you win or lose how you play the game. Eh, that's actually a bad attitude to have. Um, that's a bad attitude to have for uh, for um, for online events. For classical chess, it's on the um, for classical chess, it's reasonable to think that way. For online chess, if it's actually, I think a bad that's a bad attitude to have. Where you think it's like um where you think uh it's like oh yeah how you played matters ma matters more than the result i think actually in blitz it's the other way the result matters more in classical chess like i i think it, it, it's the other way if you play well in classical chess um but you don't get the result like you can improve upon that but in blitz you don't get you're not going to end up in the same situation again so i think it's quite the opposite i'm not roasting love you guys i mean you guys want to be be weird fine i'll just i'll just block you out then there you go congrats you guys congrats sub mode only now congrats um but yeah it was just not meant to be not meant to be in that game grow up and improve your theory <laughs> improve opening theory yeah exactly yeah um levy has gotten four out of four in title tuesday quite a few times actually i think he's done he's done quite well but yeah that was just i mean i for also i should not have used so much time like i, I spent like did i spent like five, 10 seconds on g6 i should have also just played played something in like two three seconds because those 10 seconds actually mattered much later on in the game. So I should have just played quickly. Uh, uh, Joppy, not Jospin. But anyway, yeah. All right, round nine should be starting. Uh, I think my game was one of the last games. So the game should be starting fairly soon. Why did I play for the center after A3? Oh, I should have. I mean, when he played A3, I should. what I should have done is when he played A3, I, I should have just gone E5 or D5. Like, thought for two seconds, played E5, D5. Instead, I took 10 seconds and played G6, which was just, I mean, it's not a bad move, but it's like, I spent 10 seconds to play the move that I almost certainly would have played in one second, so it's pretty stupid. Um, and it's pretty stupid to do that. Well, I play Eric now. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. It's an odd number. It's, it's eight on seven, one on eight. So I could play him. I could, yeah. Um, A3 didn't get in my head. I just was laughing and I played G6 when I should have just like played a quick move in two, three seconds and then kept kept uh, kept going forward. That, that was a big mistake. I used 10 seconds on that move. Um, and that, that's what cost me for sure. Also, E5 was a horrible move in the opening by me as well. Just thinking about it. Because here after a4, I should have just gone d5, knight to 7 e5. But playing e5, it let him get this, this grip with knight a3. The computer still does, says it's okay, but his moves became very obvious. Uh, was that disrespectful? No. a3 is not. I mean, it's, it's also a money event. So in a money event, if someone's going to play a random opening, like, I mean, you can never say it's disrespectful because they're basically inviting you to beat them by playing a bad opening. So um, so, so that's that's what I would say. Is that no? In a money event, if someone does that, your attitude should be just beat them. But I was, I was, I was just like too, too chill and too casual, uh, for no good reason. Yeah, e5 was a bad move though by me. You can't see the h file. Uh, yeah. So what I was saying is like when I play e5, takes knight a3. He just gets this bind. I also, for some reason, after e4, I probably should have just gone f5 and tried to open the center. I just took it way too slow and casual here, and yeah, I got a bad position. I mean, it happens. Um, what player from the past would I like to have played? Um, I would have liked to have played, um, pro well, obviously Bobby Fischer and maybe Capablanca. Those would be the top two players. Yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Okay. I play a mean here. So, I, okay, pretty simple here. Um, I'm playing up against the mean, so I have to win this game. Let's go knight of three. Let's play what's been working. I think I've won every game with white with this. So, my draw, my, my one and a half points that I've lost has been, um, has been with black. So, we'll play the same opening. Go C4, D4. Thank you to J314. Thank you to that Walrus Man for the two. Thank you to Mike Sam for the 11. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to play B3, Bishop B2 here. Go here. Why did I play Queen C2? That was so stupid of me. Yeah, I don't know what I'm... I'm, I'm already off to a very poor start in this game, too. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Let's go here, knight to two. I have a three, me. I mean, I don't know what. I, I'm already off to a very poor start. If I survive the opening, I'm gonna make a prediction that I win this game, or I'm not gonna survive the opening. I'm gonna lose. This queen a five, which is very strange. Very, very strange move. Wait a second. I'm really confused by this opening go here I mean now h7 is weak what is he doing actually now I'm gonna survive the opening and now it's coming to win the game Queen a5 was a very peculiar move very peculiar um there's knight c6 he wants knight before obviously a394 let's see what can I do here If I take take a3, it's no good. I can play a3 94 castles. I guess let's just go a3. I think I should have taken and then gone a3 b4. Goes bishop g4. He doesn't take full advantage. Wait, but now I can actually take and go b4 maybe. Let's take. Because now I can take and take. Okay, I can play knight d2 first. I think b4 has got to be right. And I go knight d2 and queen b2. And I think I'm okay here. Yeah, I'm one move away from being castled. If I get castled, I think I'm better. This is the isolated pawn in the center. I'm one move away from being better. If you can get d4 in and be fine, that's good. If you can't play d4, then I think I'm just going to be up a pawn and better. Okay, I'm going to castle, and now I'm going to argue that I'm just better. I'm castle's finished development. can play rook c1, rook b1. can play h3, maybe. Create some wolf for the king. Bishop f5. I do have knight h4 here. What about knight h4? Knight h4. Looks like a good move. Um, d4. Or queen f4, g3. It looks like... Bishop F, okay, whatever. Let's stop, stop overthinking. Just play the move. If D4, I just take. Yeah, I'm just overthinking. And again, I'm down on the clock. Like, this is the problem. I, 
probably also should have just gone rook c1 and rook e1 and just played normal versus going for this because he does have this like 95 knight of five is my idea if queen f4 i have knight of five and g3 yeah i'm thinking way too long here way too long Okay, of course I go here to hit the queen. Queen f4, I have g3 for starters. Maybe even bishop e4. Queen f6 is actually, I think, a very good move that I forgot about. Do I have g4, 94 or something? Um, and now I'm deep in the tank. Shoot. And take on e7. Okay, why am I thinking so? Move, geez, just move. Knight e4, queen g6, knight c5. Okay, it goes queen b6, which I think is just not the right move. And now I can move the bishop and at least play. Let's go here and here. Okay, now I'm not going to lose the game at least. Winning is going to be really hard though, because his knights are very well placed. Okay, it goes queen g6. Oh, wait, I can't go queen b3. Did I just blunder again? I think I did. Man, I'm missing everything today. I guess I'll go, I'll go here and just draw the game. I'll go, go here. Hopefully, I didn't just plunder some mate, like 93 or some trick. Um, wait, B6. Wait, I can't. Ugh, man, I've just got no time again. It's too hard to play. got no time again I actually don't see a win it goes there wait I mean I just have no time Oh, and I hung the pawn, too, of course. Oh, that was so idiotic of me. Again. Okay. Just calm down. Make a move. Thinking so long, just move. <sighs> oh, jeez. There we go. I think I'm winning now. He blundered. There we go. Okay, I can at least, at least I don't lose.
Um, go here. Let's go here and now I win. Oh man, tough game, jeez. Jeez, really, really tough game. Oh man, somehow I won that. I, sh I was losing that game the whole way. Joss, Joss, Joppy Drew. So if he loses, I, I mean, he loses. I'm still not going to make it, but I can get second maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that was such a messy time scramble. I got very lucky. But yeah, I mean, I, I, that makes up for the last game kind of, but every game I'm just too slow. I missed a fork near the end. I had a fork. What fork did I have? I had some fork. No, I don't think I had a fork. No, I didn't have any forks. Loss plus draw, yeah, but I mean, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, I'm having a tough tournament. I also should have gone 97 here, I guess, and just trade it, but I mean, who cares? Careful with time. Yeah. My time usage in this uh, today has been abysmal. My time usage has been terrible in this uh, in this title Tuesday. Yeah, it's been, been abysmal. Not, 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 not a good, not a good result. To put it mildly, but I'm trying. I'm trying to at least get to second if I can. That, that, that would be the goal. Tough turn with one loss, easy. I mean, I, oh man, I play Bordnik here. Oh, this is a garbage pairing. Man, this is a pairing where both of us need a win to, to get in, to get into the. If, if this is a draw, we're both out. So. Let's play a Sicilian because at the very least someone's gonna win. I need something messy here. Something messy. Messy, messy, messy. Let's go here and take. Go here. I'm gonna castle, of course. Oh, did he mean to go to C4? Or was that a slip? I don't know if that was a mouse slip or not. I mean it's Bordnik, so I, I'm gonna assume he didn't slip. But I honestly don't know. Okay, let's go here. I have knight a5, of course here i assume this wasn't a slip but it's a weird move might be five i guess i go queen b8 i don't think it was a slip though my, my instinct says that it, it, bornick is too good he wouldn't make a slip like that i'm over something a little bit dubious because again i need to win the game so this is bishop g5 what am i doing that was idiotic by me Yeah, that, that was very stupid. What am I doing? Now I'm trying to play fast and I just make a quick blunder. Always a good sign. Try to speed up after being too slow and then quickly make a blunder in the opening. And Bordnik smartly is using all his time here because he realizes there might be something. I don't think there is, oddly enough, but... Actually, Bishop G5, maybe I have some funky Knight G4. Some funky trick or something. Yeah, it plays rook d1, which of course is completely reasonable. Now, I mean, I wanted to go knight e7, but then he has bishop g5, and I feel like a total idiot. So, knight d5 is playable, but this is this is really leaning into a draw hard now. Maybe he'll go knight e4 because he needs to win too. He needs to win as well. Bishop g5. I can play f6 here. It's not what I wanted. No, let's just do it. I, I need to win, so let's just play weird. Let's play weird chess for the win. Thank you to um, Monkey Lift for the 444 bits. Now, that's a surprising move. I'm, I'm actually very surprised that Bortnik did that. I guess I'll go here in 97 or something. Very surprised that Bortnik didn't try to take advantage here. And he, he left the structure the way it is. I mean, I, have to, I, I don't have much, but... You know, Monkey Luffy for the gifted sub. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Appreciate Monkey Luffy. Play Knight G6. Bishop B7. No, Bishop B7 is not a move, of course. That's the problem. Uh, this will go. Go here and hope, I guess. Try to go Rook C8, maybe. Pretty unpleasant position, I, I think. It goes Queen E4. I do have F5 here, which is kind of interesting. Knight G6, H4, Bishop C6. No, again, that hangs e6. h4, f5, though. h4, f5, queen, h2, knight, f4. Whatever, it's still chess. So f5 and knight, f4 is my idea. 
he does go for it bishop c6 is actually not the worst move ever but again a draw is not good enough let's just go for it he's gonna probably play queen e5 two bishops they're not the greatest bishops ever but they're also not the worst bishops ever either go here bishop c4 maybe I can also play rook c8 for the knight e5 Fuck. so hard to try to play this for a win here c6 bishop c4 I just don't have anything here hmm really don't want to go knight d5 I guess I'll just take and play go play rook e8 I don't have anything here I'm, I'm probably actually slightly worse even though I have the bishop pair because he's got a great outpost so let's go here go here maybe if I get g6 I'm fine oh I just blunder uh I almost did I blunder? I think I did yeah, I did blunder, right? Yeah. Or did I wait? I have Bishop A6 for me. Wait a second. Bishop A6 maybe? I might have tricked him a little bit here. But I have Bishop A6, which is very, very important here. Oh, no, he just got Rook C3. What am I doing? No, I'm just losing my mind. Yeah, I'm just losing... What is this? Maybe I can go F no F4 Queen E yeah, what am I doing? E5 Yeah, I'm just I'm just lost here. Yeah, I'm just what am I even doing? Bishop C no takes. Trying to find something that just even keeps me in the game and I'm, I'm struggling even to find that can't even find a move that keeps me in the game that's how bad this position is I also should have played that move instantly too and I'm just basically lost here Oh, can he even take? I think he can even take. And if I get Bishop B7, I mean, I'm obviously lost here. So play, I don't know, like there maybe? Not meant to be though. Very, very, very bad day. doesn't even do anything I'm just lost anyway let's go here maybe here maybe he's actually wait a second he's kind of misplaying this Wait a second. Oof. Oh, I got to move. What am I doing? And now I just threw again. I mean, what is wrong with me today? Unbelievable. And again, I allow this too. Throwing so hard today. Wait, he allowed h5, h4. Wait, now, now it's game on again. Wait a second. Oh, it's game on again. I might win now.
I mean, it's supposed to be winning. I don't believe this. I'm going to win this game. Unbelievable. I'm going to win this game. Unbelievable. 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 <laughs> need a code crucial for the five. They need a monkey, monkey Luffy for the um. Uh, thank you to Monkey Luffy for the uh, 44, 44 bits. Thank you to thank you uh, for the additional 888 bits. Thank you for the gifted sub as well. Yeah, I mean that's absurd. It was doomed for one at three sides. I know, but the whole game was just so bad. I'm so disgusted in my chest right now. I mean, I'm getting getting super lucky, but I, I'm absolutely disgusted. Hey, Monkey Lobby. Yeah, Job, thank you for the 22, 22 bits. Yeah, Joppy and Eric have to play, so I can't get first. But I can still get second place if there's a decisive game. Yeah, that was terrible. Absolutely horrendous. But I, I congrats on the throw. Yeah, I don't know. How's boarding under 3,000? Probably because he's played in Arena Kings like everybody else, and he's probably dropped a ton of points just like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, will I be okay with second place? Considering how badly I've played, I have to be happy. I mean, I've been losing in how many games? I was losing this game to Bortnik. I was losing the game to, um, okay, let's, I was losing the game to Bortnik. I mean, I was losing the game to, to, uh, Amin. I lost the game to Joppy. That's three right there. I think I was losing another game also. Platy, I was losing to Platy as well. Like, I mean, I've been losing in like every game today. So it's kind of hard to be unhappy. I think you DTC for the six months. Okay, go C5. I think E4 still a move. I think Bishop B2 is correct. Okay, let's just castle. Okay. I know E4 is definitely a move here. Uptown. Punk you up. Good news is this is a Ben Oni Wan Kenobi, so it's so it's gonna be a decisive game, and I'm very happy about that. He goes for B8. I I guess I'll play rookie one. I don't. I mean, B5, I just take. The idea to go back, I'm a little confused by his opening choice. Ah, he wants to go bishop d7 and b5. Now I understand his whole concept. So I'm going to go here. He wants to go here and force a4 and then play b5. Uh, now I understand. But I'm going to go bishop f4 first. Why, why, did, why did Eric try? He doesn't win the tournament. He guarantees himself a share of second place. It goes nice stuff, so of course I should play a4, stop b5. I don't, it goes a6. I can play h3 and bishop f4, which is kind of okay, but I think a5 must be right. This must be correct. Um, knight b, oh, knight b5, I didn't see that. Uh, let's go here. I guess knight c4. Missing so many, so many basic ideas today. No, Eric, I, I understand why he drew, and I think I just blundered again. Or maybe not, because I have H3. He misses it. I think knight g4 is very strong, though. He missed it. Um, I'm going to just play H3 here. Stop this weirdness. Maybe I have knight a4, even. Probably will play knight h5, or what? Yeah. No, but the thing is, Eric's not guaranteed second place. If I win my game, I might nip him on tie breaks. But still, I mean, it's no reason not to. I mean, still guaranteed money. Because I'm the only one who can catch him, too. Like, one of us can catch him. And so, like, he's guaranteed at least second, at least third. And a good chance of second if this isn't decisive. And unless I win, he has a tiebreaker on Bogdan. So it's it, the only way he doesn't get second is if I win. So probability-wise, it makes sense. But I mean, I have to win my game, which is not guaranteed at all, based on the way I've been playing. Good news is my opponent seems confused here. He's thinking for a long time. Doesn't seem to know exactly what his next next move is, which is good. That's very good news for me. I didn't play Eric in this tournament. By the way, big shout out though to uh, Bogdan Diak. I think I saw his name on the top 100 list. I think he's like 2650, so he's been improving quite a bit. and. Um, I mean, it's good to see him see him fulfilling his potential. Because I've always thought that he's got a lot of talent. Okay, queen c7, logical move. Um, I kind of want to go rook a2 here, maybe. Or 
Okay, let's just go. What's his move? Actually, let's think for a second. Think and don't blitz out a move here. That's important. I don't want to go F3. I don't want to take on B5 either. G4 feels too bold. Okay, I don't want to think too long. So let's just go here. Guard the pawn. This makes a lot of sense, actually. Because now I can go knight C4 and knight B6. If I get knight C4 and E5, I mean, I, I assume I have enough counterplay. This knight H5. I saw that. I actually was thinking about sacking an exchange here. I wonder if I can sack it. I can also go knight E2. Knight E2, knight D4. Actually, this looks quite pleasant. I just go knight C4. I think, I think that might be a mistake by him. Knight H5 might be a mistake. I'm not sure. But he's so slow on time. Like, if, if he doesn't start moving fast soon... He's just gonna he's just gonna lose on time. Which is why I'm gonna pre-move EF5 because I think he'll play it. I mean he's, he's he's too low on time. Yeah, he's just he's just too low. He's gotta go. You gotta go, dude. Um problem with this is now I can go Queen C2, and now I get knight C4, and I'm gonna get the grip because the knight covers the square now. He like he wasted Tempe and now he let me get the grip. Once I get the grip on C4, I think it's gonna be very hard for him to play. It's also, I mean, he's just got no time. Okay, let's go here in F3, of course. Consolidate. Now, Knight H5 doesn't even do anything, so I just go G4. Goes H6. Okay, I guess I should go probably here, hit the pawn, and Bishop H2. I mean, I feel like I'm just much better here. Plays Knight H7. I think Queen D2 is logical. Consolidate. Oh, wait, I've got E5? Wait, e5 is just gg. It's just gg. It's just gg. We got the dub! <laughs> Who knew? After all those ridiculously ridiculous games, we get the dub. I don't know if I'm going to be second, though, because it's only half a point on Eric. Um, it's only half a point, so there's no guarantee. Eric might, if his opponents do better in the final round, he'll pit me for second. But at the very least, I get to, I get to share it second. So... Um, so I can't I can't complain about that. Um, it's, it's a pretty good pretty good result considering the number of lost positions, but it's only 0.5. So anything could happen. Um, you can still win. No, I can't win. Why can he take on e5? Because he loses the knight. He he just walked into this pin. Um, but I mean, yeah, second Bogdan got paid. Good one. Second or third, I mean, it's not a big deal. Getting getting to the podium after um, after a very very shaky day is very very good so i guess we'll wait and see jo joss jo joppy by the way look at this he had a 62.75 tiebreaker that's a huge tiebreaker um but yeah so excellent win yeah so we're in second or third i don't know who knows we'll have to wait and see how the tiebreakers happen i mean i have only a half point so anything could happen if it was like two or three points i'm pretty sure that i would uh that we get that i would get second but with only half point who knows we'll see we'll see what happens there's still a handful wait Oh wait, there are a lot of oh wait, I, the, I finished that game with a buck thirty-five, so there's still a lot of games going. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Let, let's see what the final standings are. Nine and a half is an amazing score. Yeah, I salvaged a lot. I salvaged a lot out of it. Um yeah, nine and a half out of eleven. Pretty good score, can't complain. Um yeah, I didn't see who Eric played. He played Joppy at the end, but yeah, he he obviously had a good result with nine and a half too. Jospin's game is done. Who's Jospin playing? I don't I don't understand that yeah Jordan and Eric agreed to a draw for Jordan it made perfect sense um I'm not gonna bother trying to look I'll just wait and see I'll wait and see no second place because he played Joppy ah really so wait so how does that work then because I I've never understood do you get I thought it was based on the final score of your opponents in the final round but actually yeah if, if, jo if Joppy counts for him somehow then then yeah I guess that would make sense because Joppy had like 10 points Although I don't know what the tiebreaker is. Either way, um, either way, I got to nine and a half, so I can't complain for sure. Um, do I think I have a place in the national team? I don't know. Um, running so many ads, I am contractually required to run ads, you guys. I'm sorry. That's just um, I just have to. But yeah, let's just see the results because I, I don't want to speculate. Tiebreak is half the points of the players you drew plus the points of the players you beat. Ah, uh, so he gets like a ton of points for Joppy that I don't get, right? He gets like all those points that I didn't get. So that's actually useful to know for the future. That's actually very useful to know. Um, he gets half of Joppy because he drew where you get pool eight and a half. 
he gets half a job because he drew where he... okay whatever i don't know the tiebreak let's let's just let's just see how it shakes out um yeah i, I don't i don't want to think about the tiebreakers uh it's just like it's silly my instinct says so probably i'm third just my instinct says i'm third that's just my gut is that probably because it's half a point i'm probably third but we'll see we'll see very very soon um what the actual standings are there still are a few games going Thank you to Randall Carter for the prime thing to Monkey Luffy for the 22-22 uh, bits. Yeah, we'll just wait and see what happens. But I mean, my instinct says that I'm says that I'm third. That's just my instinct. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll see. Levy got eight out of eleven. Yeah. No, I I have number two right now, but it's only a half point. So because it's half a point, I suspect that that playing Joffy gets Eric more points. But who knows? Who knows? Okay, there are two games left. How is uh how is Levy doing? He got eight points, so he had a good result. Um, yeah, eight points, which is probably like top twenty or something. But yeah. Why did Dayak burn so much time? I think he was unfamiliar with the position. I thought I, I don't know if his nerves or he thought he could create something critical at that moment. And um I, I just I, I don't know rage form losing to Hikaru okay we'll watch that clip in a second I, I'm gonna I, I don't know maybe I am second because I did beat um I did beat Bogdan Dayak but we'll see we'll see yeah let's 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 see um thank you to um young dark wizard for the two months if if what you guys said is true that I get more points because of winning that last game and he gets four and a half and I get eight then yeah I will finish second but again we'll see we'll see I'm not officially second no there's still uh there's still are two games going okay this one's over King d6 okay good let's move the Bishop anywhere King d7 yeah I did not win title Tuesday no I did not most definitely I did not okay so I mean you just go here and then I mean obviously down and me yes yes oh but look at how t oh so actually it was really tight look at this I win by half a tiebreaker point wow I get second by half a tiebreaker point that's pretty insane regardless that's that's insane that that even with that eight and a half against Dayak it's still 0.5 but it is what it is we get we get um we do get second place and definitely can't complain about that so it was the half point that did it yeah it was the half point is what did it so we finish in second place let's watch this clip by the way let's watch this clip now let me stop the music and let's watch this clip what is this clip not raging come on you guys this is, this is raging oh, oh. oh 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 okay <laughs> okay <laughs> oh no in the tie oh no oh no um oh no oh no oh no um uh yeah thank you thanks for the raid no i mean he, he was very calm actually it was just totally calm um but yeah i mean he he actually i think what he did wrong if i if i go back to that game let, let me pull up the game quickly just so you guys can see it again where he kind of let it slip where it got really tricky um towards the end was very specifically right about right about okay we keep going it's obviously completely winning for white um yeah, it was right about here. I feel like he had some way to win. I mean, this was still okay, but F3. Yeah, F3 was where he made the big mistake. Because once he did this, I mean, it's still winning for white, but now I get the optimal bishop setup. The rooks are dis discoordinated, or sorry, uncoordinated here. And um, it starts to get messy. I think this was the, probably the critical moment. Maybe actually, maybe even back here. Maybe here. Well, but H6 is the right. H6 has to be the right move. Maybe, you know what it is? Maybe here is, hmm, check. I don't it, it felt like he had some chance he had he had a big chance somewhere around here to do something that would have um that would have kept it kept it going I uh, no I'm not rubbing the salt what I'm saying is like even though he's always winning he let it get to this position where it's like now it's it's not easy to win like in, until here like 
it's once i get the set up here it's just very hard to i think it's just very hard to win now honestly uh maybe you can ah uh, no but he could no f4 f4 if he goes f4 that no if he goes f4 then he's winning yeah f4 actually is important just could just protect this over protect the knight and now the rook's getting actually if he goes f4 he wins this game this was the mistake if he plays f4 he just wins he wins this probably like 95 percent plus if he goes f4 i think 95 percent plus that's that's what i would say he missed rook h4 after king d5 which one it must be much later right wait rook h4 where maybe it's later let's just go ahead no but it's already too late where, where did he miss rook h4 After, instead of king d4 was that oh my oh my oh oh my god he had, oh oh my god did i really do that oh my god that is so bad oh my god did i really do that oh my gosh oh my oh my gosh that is so bad oh my gosh that's terrible 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 incredibly bad